Hi, my name is Ingrid Johnson. I'm an exercise physiologist here in San Diego, California, specializing in exercises for people with Parkinson's. Today's exercise is called grief relief. So these movements are designed to relieve some of the depression and anxiety that can be uh, come a part of uh, your life if you have been diagnosed with Parkinson's. So we're gonna release some of that. We're gonna release endorphins and serotonin. We're gonna start this by breathing. So breathing, we're gonna lift arms up, inhale, and then exhale. Inhale and exhale. Open up the palms and face me. Inhale, exhale. One more time. I'm gonna bring my arms around, inhale, Exhale. Turn and inhale. Exhale. Open up the palms. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. So turn that hip. Inhale. And exhale. Palms open. Inhale. Palms together. And exhale. We're going to take one foot in front of the other like so, and then bring the other uh, back foot back. So my left foot is forward, my right foot is back. I'm going to bend my left knee slightly and lift up my back heel. I'm going to put it back. Lift up the heel, bend the front leg a little bit, and then back. Bend the heel and back. This is basically a, a gait. A walking exercise it really helps to loosen up your feet but also stretches your hip on that last one here we're gonna go ahead and shift the body weight a little bit to the left and to the right left and right it's small but don't expect huge movement here and then I'm gonna place it back okay other side Right foot forward, left foot back, and at least a foot's distance apart, and we're going to lift the back, heel, bend the front, come back. Lift and return. Lift and return. Lift and return. And one more time we lift, and then we shift and shift and return okay next we're going to do exactly the opposite we're going to lift our toes and as we lift our toes we're going to get the movement going a little faster really place that heel down and swing the arms you can swing them any way you like side to side you can also cross them cross them here you can do one up one down and breathe eight seven five, four, three, and two, and one. Okay, next we're going to do what's called a waiting on the bus exercise. So I'm going to place my heel uh, on the inner ankle like so. And I'm going to shift my uh, straight leg hip out. And I'm going to bring that leg back in underneath my hip. So I'm gonna shift that hip out, waiting on the bus. But the stretch phase is actually the bringing the leg underneath the hip. So again, it's here, I'm waiting on the bus, and I'm pulling it back in. Let's do one more time. And back in. So this should feel really good. And when something feels really good, then it also makes you happy just by the sheer feel of it. So I'm going to put my heel into my ankle bone, the instep, shift my weight out, weight on the bus, and then pull from the inner thigh here, back up. Shift the weight out, pull back. Keep your upper body nice and open, shoulders back, hands on top of your hips. And I'm bringing that leg up. That's what stretches the hip area. Okay, next we're going to do a hip knee up. So I really want to bring the 
knee to about parallel with the hip. So knee parallel to the hip. And tap the opposite thigh with your hand. Good. So let's do eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Next we're going to do what's called the cigarette butt stretch. So the cigarette butt stretch, you want to turn and turn and turn and turn. So my heel is up and I'm sort of grinding out the cigarette with the ball of my foot. My knee should be pointing in and my knee should be pointing all the way out at the end points of the movement. Four, three, two, and one. Place your foot down. Other side. Heel is up. I'm turning the hip out, bringing it back in. Turn it out, bring it in. Turn it out, bring it in. Turn out, back in. Turn out, back in. Four, three, two, one, and down. Now take your feet out as far apart as you can, turn your toes out. Bring the hands underneath you and let's go ahead and bring the knees out to the side, bend them. Cross the arms here, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, literally draw that air in through your nose. Exhale, one more time, inhale, and exhale, great. Okay, stand together again. We're going to now side leg kick. So I'm side leg kicking and side leg kicking. I like to do left and right, alternating, because it adds a little balance challenge. And remember to shift your weight before you lift your leg. So shift before you lift. Up, 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 up. It's five, four, three, and two, and one. Since we are already doing lateral work, we're gonna step out and back. Step out and back. So if you make small steps, you can keep your legs straight, but if you want to take a bigger step, it's great if you start to bend the outside a knee and keep the inside leg, the trailing leg, we call it straight. It's very important that you're also shifting your hips back so that the step out doesn't bother your knees. You're not pushing into your knees. You're pushing into your hips and glutes. So we have four, three, and two, and one, and come back in, super. All right, so next we're going to stretch our psoas. So we're gonna step apart, one leg forward, one leg back. And what we're going to do is we're going to now lift that back heel, tuck the tail under. So I like to put my hand on my stomach and my low back and then really feel that, that tilt and then come back. Lift up on the heel, the heel is up, drop on the toe. And then I'm going to tilt and this tilt is what causes this to stretch and come back up and then down. And one more time, lift the heel, shifting your body weight a little bit forward, and then I'm going to tilt the tailbone down and up and back. Okay, other side, here we go. I'm going to take a step apart, about a foot apart, lift the back heel, tilt my pelvis, come up and lower down. So it's up, tilt, up, back down. And last time I'm up, I'm tilting, my tailbone comes under, so my tailbone's going straight down to the floor, up and down. All right, 
So next we're going to do what's called a deadlift. And deadlift, I'm gonna start with a very basic one, is toe down, heel up. I'm going to hinge, not round, but hinge forward from my hips and come back up and then down. So heel uh, is up, I'm hinging and up and down. And one more time, my heel is up, I'm hinging, I'm coming up and then putting my foot down. Okay, step two is lifting the heel. Now I'm hinging and my leg comes up. I'm tightening my glute here so it's very much tight and not like uh, soft and hanging out there. It is firm, solid, and down. I'm hinging, lifting that back leg, and down. And so you also can do this with added weight. And so it's a hinge, lift, down, and back. And a hinge, uh, shifting of the weight forward, hinge, lift, and come back. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so step number one, level one, was a hinge to come up. And a hinge to come up. I want you to really observe that my back is flat. It is not rounded, it's flat and up. And what different ways you can think of it, you can think of it as stretching your chest forward or thinking about like you have a two by four in your back. And now we lift and come up and hinge and lift, come up and hinge and lift and come up. And if you have dumbbells, hinge and come up, hinge and come up. One more time, hinge and come up. Okay, let's roll some shoulders back. Okay, so if you can do this without holding on, great. If you need a chair or something or uh, up against the wall, but here's a good little hip stretch. Just bringing the hip towards the uh, knee towards the chest. We sort of compress the hip. And when we get the hip compressed like that, uh, when we undo, it really releases some great serotonin and the happiness hormone. Okay, so endorphins. So they uh, really are, a lot of them are in the hip area. And also that is where a lot of the stress is carried. And here we go. All right. After this, if you have a stair, like I have a staircase here, uh, it's great to do some side stepping. So I'm gonna put my foot up here. And I'm gonna shift my weight onto that uh, foot, that leg. And I do a little leg raise. And then I slowly descend back. So I shift my weight over, lift, and you can do a side kick, and then back. Shift my weight, kick, and back. You can also shift your weight over, and you can do a front kick, and a side kick, and back. Up, so make it a little playful, and back, and shift, front, out, and back okay let's do the other side i'm going to stay on the same side so i don't have my back towards you i'm going to shift lift out to the side and back shift lift out to the side and back and a shift lift out to the side and back now if i didn't have a stair i would just shift and then kick kick, and then come back. Again, I would shift, I would lift, lift, come back, and I shift my weight, lift this way, lift this way, and back. After doing this, a great stretch is also the 90 degree hip hold. 
exhale, you bring your leg to 90 degrees and you literally hold it there. A 30 second hold is great. You can do a little less and it still challenges you. It's a great stretch for your hips. It's also great for your balance. So 90 degree hold here. And back down. So I can contract my core before I lift and I hold it here. Next, I'm going to take my hands, I'm going to clasp them like so and lift the chest. And as my chest is lifted, I'm going to try to breathe. I'm going to try to breathe deeply, which may actually be a little challenging to do, but that challenge is very, very, very good for your body. Inhale and exhale. And one more time, inhale. Okay, a couple more. We're going to now take the leg and we're going to cross it behind. When we cross behind, we are opening up this whole hip area there. You can turn a little bit and it not only feels good, but it is also good. So I'm taking a little stretch, hip opener and back, hip opener and back, hip opener and back hip opener and back one more time. I cross and come back and I cross and come back. We're going to do the same thing to the front. I'm going to cross, come back, cross, come back, cross. I'm stretching this whole area here. Really activating those muscles and stretch, come back. All right, let's go for the finale. Here we go. We're going to take the whole body side bend, left and right, side bend, and side bend. Two more. One more. And now we twist. Twist with our abdominals pulling in. You can also kind of let your arms slap your body a little bit. Four, three, two, and one. One final uh, breath and stretch. And we, here we go. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you so much for joining me today. Inhale. And exhale. And I'll see you again next time. Inhale. Yeah? Is everybody good?